I really want to thank everybody who gave such positive responses yesterday to the situation with Brent and the sail barge. Uh, we were really blown away by the generosity and the compassion and the way that the collecting community wants to come together to help Brent. Um, this has been a really weird situation and it's been very unfortunate and and Brent is clearly, as you, as you saw, he's a, a person of, of immense integrity and he didn't deserve this and, and we want to we wanna solve this issue. Now, uh, I, I really do appreciate everybody weighing in on um, how this should be handled. Um, there is a, a, a misunderstanding that I saw from the comments versus the last video, and I want to clear this up because I don't know if you guys were listening to this video while you were driving or something, but there was never a scenario where Brent doesn't get the barge back. And I want to make that clear. Some people thought that if the review happened, then Brent wouldn't get the barge, and that's not the case. The, the options were either don't review the barge and send it back to Brent, or review the barge and send it back to Brent. Now, I don't want to review the barge, and you heard that in the, in the video, and the overwhelming majority of you agree with me, so we're not reviewing this, this thing. We're just going to send it on to Brent. Uh, I know that there were some, you know, a, a very small you know, minority of people who uh, were critical of all of this. They said, just ship at UPS. Uh, if it was that simple, right, then Brent wouldn't have had to send it here, okay? If it was that simple, and it's not that simple, uh, we, we've been getting calls uh, and, and messages from all kinds of people who want to help. People in Australia who run toy stores, people in Canada who run shipping services, everybody's trying to figure out how to help get this to Brent. Now in the background, uh, there's been something else going on, uh, you know, the elephant in the room, and uh, it, it, it's really unfortunate, but I do need to address it. Uh, there is a YouTuber out there who this morning posted a video attacking this channel, claiming that Brent is not a real person, and that this whole situation was fabricated. I, I don't even know how to begin to address that except to say that um, his claim is that I'm trying to go back on my attitude about the barge from a year ago and own one for myself. Well, guess what? If I wanted to do that, I would just simply secretly buy a barge for myself and never make a video about it and never put it on YouTube. That, so, at best, this guy is a lunatic. At worst, he's actively trying to spread conspiracy theories and damage this channel. And I don't want to spend too much time on that except to say, Brent is a real person. Brent is in a real situation. And we have, have uh, stepped into that situation to try and help resolve it, okay? There is no subterfuge here. There, there, put all that crap out of your mind. And most of you didn't, didn't even consider that. But there were a few comments from people who were just, it was just sheer lunacy. And, um, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that we periodically do get attacked by other channels for various things, as, as you know. Uh, it's very bad form to attack another YouTube channel. And it's especially bad form to attack a smaller YouTube channel. And we are smaller than this person by about 20,000 subscribers. So punching down and, and trying to, you know, uh, sow doubt into this scenario is, 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 reprehensible. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't even make sense. So that, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, his, his, his Wookiee scalp is already on my shoulder. I mean, you question, you question my honesty and you've already lost. Because if I, if I wanted to uh, lie to everybody to get more subscribers or, or whatever, I would have said Thundercats were great and I didn't. So <laughs> that being said, so many of you were so like generous and positive about wanting to help Brent, wanting to send money, wanting to know where to send money, wanting to set me up, a, set up a GoFundMe or set up a live stream. Now here's the deal, Melinda and I have been talking about all that. If we did a live stream and tried to you know, raise the money through Super Chats, then Google gets about 50% of that money. That would be throwing money away. Um, and with the accusations that we've gotten from a somewhat prominent YouTuber and 
some other people in the comments section, I feel like there's only one way to do this uh, in the short term. We are going to, uh, you're going to see a lot of cell phone footage because we're going to be in the car, but over the next few weeks, we are going to go to UPS and we're going to get a raw shipping quote for this item. And probably on that same day, we're just going to send it regardless of what the cost is. Retro Blasting is going to send this to Brent. And after that, we're going to show you the receipt. We're going to show you what it really costs to send this. I mean, I'm, I'm 6'3". This, this box has got to be at least, you know, almost five feet tall uh, and over a foot square. So um, you're going to see the, the, the actual cost of what it took for us to send it to Brent. And then we're going to wait for Brent to receive it. And then after that, we're going to see if there's a way to have everybody pitch in after the fact. Um, because there were a lot of people that wanted to pitch in. And, and I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Because that's what this community is. Uh, it's a community where we put faith in one another and we give each other the benefit of the doubt and we rally around each other when something like this happens. And you have all proven that. But the only way to get these, these, these haters, and I hate using that word, but to get these detractors to, to you know, realize that they've really stepped in it is to just go ahead and send it first. Because Brent's real. The situation is real. Nobody would make this up. So I want to thank everybody who uh, wrote in positively. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of positive comments. Uh, and you're going to see the next step here real soon over the next week or two uh, when we can find a time in our schedule to take it to UPS. Um, but this is getting back to Brent, and I'm not reviewing it. I didn't want to, and it was nice to see that most everybody agreed with me on that. So um, thanks for watching this, guys, and we will see you on the next video, and you will see this in a future video uh, going bye-bye to Australia.